You can have a very crazy Mercury retrograde, which is coming soon, or you can join all these people who's getting their remedy right now, hundreds of them. And guess what? We're still accepting last minute order. After today, I won't be get able to guarantee <laughs> if it's going to come to you. So go to our website, itridlove.me. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, we are in our second batch now. We are... Um, of course, approaching the retrograde, but hold on. Okay, thank you very much for everyone. We're doing our second. I came from the mail yesterday. Ooh, we are fixing and mending a relationship. Don't ask why I have this mic for now. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say Mercury in Pisces is debilitation. Yes. If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Basically, this is a time where I said Murphy's Law is applicable. Yes. So... Um, what I'm seeing for you right now, though, is what is going wrong, you want to make it right. Mm -hmm. Or they want it. That's a four of swords. Oh, you know what's interesting? Pisces. Okay. The whole time, I was going to do an Aquarian first because I go through that sign. And then you. But then my mindset was already in Pisces. So I, we're going to skip Aquarius. Okay. Because I was thinking, it's like, oh, is it Aquarius? No, it's Pisces. I got the cherry quartz mm -hmm. let me see so let's begin Pisces we are on a Mercury retrograde approaching on the 1st or 2nd of April and I'll be sharing with you the, the class that I just finished and um, but we're going to dive deep first for your tarot and of course your astrology I do say general Vedic astrology here I specialize in giving you the dates and information so if you would like to save the video or write down on a pad or something like that so you can keep track of the specific dates that I'll be telling you that are auspicious and not auspicious. Maybe this mic is give it's serving announcement. Okay. Announcement in parking lot. Okay. Aisle five, clean up please. Four of Swords is definitely mending and fixing. So your seventh house lord was in your sec is gonna have is gonna go to your second house. Right now the time that I'm reading um, is Mercury is in the second house. So money and finances for the first week of April is what going to be your focusing on. It feels like I'm I'm serving like a mic over here. I want to sing. This one's for you, wherever you are. <laughs> okay. The mic. So Mercury in your second house is savings. Of course, you know, you're trying to fix your family also, meaning there has been some miscommunication and misunderstanding in your family. The way I see this is that we can have it resolved for sure, um, but not the best time. Anything that you say and anything you do right now, it will be. It, you will look at it. It will look like, um, how do you say this? Like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Basically, with regards to family, I would advise not lending or loaning any finances to your family. So we're gonna keep it. Uh, you know, like not right now, not the best time. Now, if I look at your relationship, um, the when your seventh house is in the eighth house right now, this uh, issue or problem is what we call when the seventh lord is eighth from it, sudden changes. So eighth from eighth is your second house, and the ruler of the seventh is in the eighth house. Okay, so just count seventh house, and then it's gonna be in your second house. Now, of course, I don't get this. I don't get confused. I'm getting confused. Sudden changes. Sudden changes. Uh -huh. It's a Maraca house also. If the seventh is sitting on the second house, you may lose your partner. Maraca is death, but no one's dying. Okay? Um, it just feels like the energy of the relationship is dying. And this retrograde, the two of you can, of course, uh, manifest the union again because you guys have to review it. You got a four of swords. So... This is the time, okay, so you got a 2nd and the 9th, okay, from 2nd of April to the 9th, it's very intense with regards to this relationship. I would advise, again, to go within. K2 already has removed this relationship from you, from around you, and it's becoming more complicated by the day, okay? Because that's what happened with the, with the lunar eclipse in your 7th house, okay? So the separation has happened, but the mending is here. So I don't, I feel like it's probably far from over okay definitely someone's holding back that's the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles is a card of like okay can be selfish right if i look at your chart right here 
the the part that they're selfish it's more about they feel that there's a lot of pressure okay you may pressure them or no or don't but they feel the pressure in this relationship they're not an angel you know i'm not saying that it's like oh you're at fault not at all but just a general energy of the relationship so the pressure can be at work you know it's like oh i'm at work and i have to keep the relationship or I have a lot of things doing outside of my life, and you know, it's 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 just it's just so much. This is what your person is dealing with, okay? And this is the reason why they don't want to continue to invest in this relationship. I'm just looking at my audio there. Okay, just, next time I'm gonna put it in my front. So understand that in this situation right now, um, the stress, okay. You will have a window in April, between 9 to the end of April, that the stress of the relationship may be alleviated. Okay? There will be a resolution. What's causing this stress is Saturn's third, ha uh, you know, third aspect, we call it, Drishti. Third from Saturn, because Saturn is in your 12th house. We call it the evil eye of Saturn. Wherever Saturn looks, it will destroy that house. Wherever Saturn sits, it protects that house. This is also related to your savings, your health, you know. But when we say destroying, because so that something can come, be, you know, can be built. So what is being destroyed here is the miscommunication, the misunderstanding that you guys always have. The two of you are always fighting and quarreling, this and that. Okay, and I feel like money has been an issue between the two of you. Because okay. the Four of Pentacles is here. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eatreadlove.me. Okay, so those are the big issues that I'm seeing here. Now, I'm not going to go through all the drishtis of Saturn because wherever Saturn looks, okay, that house will always have some sort of challenge, okay? And pressure also. Judgment is here, okay? So when I made your, your Zodiac Piao, which is at my desk over there, okay, I was bringing it here, and then it's like, okay, then I don't have it now. I have a cherry quartz for you guys, which is for harmony and balance. And what is more important, okay, besides the Zodiac Piao that you've gotten already or you're about to get, is the... Mercury retrograde special kit that I created. This is jade, green adventuring, malachite, and emerald. And comes with the grounding crystals. I just finished the class for this. It comes with a free class. Okay, I'll send it out to everyone because I just shipped the first batch anyway. But you will get the class also. Okay, so if you get this. Um, it's all, uh, it's not encompassing. It's like it's surrounding, you know. Um, for you, Mercury is so important because it rules the fourth and the seventh. Your home life and your relationship. Now, if you cherish your relationship in your home life, and if that's important to you, then it's very important for you to invest with the knowledge that I was sharing for free in my class because that's how it can help you either build a good relationship, remedy a relationship, or build a nice loving you know, foundation at the house, at home. Okay? So that's a free class. Now, the judgment is here. You are put in a spot, judgment. You're, put it, you're being called out here. Like, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. It's your fault, it's your fault. This is coming from your person. That's why you're going to get tired. It's like, that's not me. That's on you. And this is the part where you go in recluse, K2, separate, can't stand you. Lunar eclipse will happen in your April 9, in your first house. And that's a six-month process. Meaning, the whole reinvention of the Pisces, you're going to be a, uh, a Pisces 2.0 after this year. After six months, actually. After six months. So the big changes is happening. It's manifesting. Money will improve. But here's the thing, though. You will always have money. That we like. Okay? So if you want to, you know, if you want to understand how to manifest this relationship or fix it or bring in the new one, let me share with you the class. I can get in trouble for this. I'm about to share with you the secrets. The whole time, the retrograde, this can happen to you. Hopefully. It's not too late. One step at a time, we can manage this, and then magic. And that's the reason why 
I made this class. 